Good morning, SBC. It is Tuesday morning, and I hope that you're already having a fantastic morning. I know that God has great plans for you today, and so I pray that you have already submitted your will to His so that He may make the most of this day for you. Now, I want to share with you today a little lesson that I have learned just recently afresh, and that is the need to always expect greater things from God, the need to always expect greater learning from God, new revelations in God. Behind me, you see my, my bookshelves. Now, when I came to this office, as we moved across the street from where we were at, I had to reduce in order to be able to fit everything into this small room. And this is a wonderful place. It's a great place for me to study. But the number of books that I could have on the shelves was limited. And I've always been one who likes the feel of real books. I've never been one that liked to read necessarily on a computer screen. And so I've always tried to pick the books that are most useful, and then I would thin them down. Now, after we moved across and I had to get rid of so many books and I had to put so many in storage, I realized that if I was to get any new books, well, I was going to have very limited space to put them out. And so I began to think about that process. And finally, after all this time, I have actually purchased an e-reader, an uh, electronic book. Now, in this, you can pull books from literally all over the world. And I know many of you are so far ahead of me in technology. You've had Kindle or, or some other e-reader for years, and you've loved it. But like I told you, I've always been one that loves the feel of the page. And so I was hesitant. I was slow. I finally had bit the bullet and realized that I can fit a whole lot more in here than I will ever be able to fit behind me there. And so I now open this up and I find this infinite number of books and writings and articles that I can engage and I can enjoy. Now, why is that important? Well, because it is a reflection of what God's Word actually teaches us about Him and His book. Over in the Gospel of John, there's a unique little verse. And that verse is at the very end of his Gospel in chapter 21. There it states, Jesus did many other things as well. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that not even the whole world would have enough room for the books that would be written. When John writes that, what he's saying is, listen, I've given you a small set of books of Jesus' miracles, Jesus' wonderful ministries, Jesus' words and his preaching, but I have not given you the sum of it all because what Jesus did was so infinite. His, his coming here was so incredibly eternally changing. He said we will never be able to mine the full depths of what Christ has done for us. And so when you and I read his Bible, when we open up these pages, what we find is an infinite amount of wisdom, an infinite amount of love, an infinite amount of guidance and kindness and mercy and grace. And we find a salvation that is infinitely and eternally changing. You know, in just one book, you wouldn't imagine you could find so much. But the truth is, I didn't think I could find so much in here either. And now I have. What I've learned over many years is that this book is always, always showing me new things about God, showing me new revelations about His Son, showing me new depths to His grace, showing me new kindness and love, showing me new challenges and disciplines I need to engage. To the day I die, I anticipate that every time I open these pages, God will unveil a whole new writing for me to find. Because God, as omnipresent and all-knowing, has an infinite things, number of things to teach me. Make it a great day, SBC, and dive into this wonderful book. Allow His Word to guide you. And I'll look forward to catching up with you right here.